All right, thank you for returning. And this shouldn't be long. This should not be long. It's only a little bit more. I wanted to get back to you. So as you can see, I've typed in Adam here, and I would just want to show you that when I close the browser, and then I reopen it, it's still there. So that's pretty cool. But uh, and yeah, anytime you type in something new, so I could just come up with another name, click enter or whatever. Uh, this box doesn't need to be there anymore. But then if I refresh the page after that, now it actually changed to Lance. So so it saves the last the last piece of information that you put there. So bear that in mind that it that it does change that it does keep the last bit of information that you put there. So well, what if you want to get rid of this? What if you don't want the cookie to be here? And I want to actually show you that it does work. So that this little where's the code? That this if statement here works. So what you can do in order to delete cookies, I can only show you in Firefox. I don't know any other browsers, but go to options, options, go to your privacy, go to custom settings for history, and then basically go here, keep until they expire. So that's whatever you put down. Go to, oh, excuse me, show cookies. So mine's this blank one right here because, well, we don't really have a name for this website. There's no URL because it's on my computer. But but as you can see, the name of the cookie we give it was name. So if I take that and click remove cookie, so now it's gone. Let's see what happens when I refresh the page. When I refresh the page, it's gone. It's not there anymore. But if I type in another name, let's I don't know. Let's go Brock, Genter. That's pretty cool. So when I close this, so I could just refresh the page. But it's even cooler if I just reopen it. Now it says welcome back Brock and that cookie is back there is there again so you would have to delete it again. And yeah, that that's about it. Um I hope this was a, a useful tutorial for you. I know this was a lot. This this was a lot. I should have said this at the beginning of part 1, but I hope you didn't really try copying everything that I was doing the very first time you're watching this. I hope that um cuz I should have said just watch the first time. Don't try doing this yourself yet. Just just watch and and then maybe go through this a second, yeah, and then go through this a second time and then try it, because this is a lot. Uh, but this is really, really neat, and and if you, you know, you can do other things, like you see where, where, where I do the value. Like how I did value here, maybe, maybe you can make it so when you uh, come back to the website, it will automatically fill in, you know, whatever text boxes you have there for the user, uh, using the information from the very last time. Just, just anything like that. Uh, so I hope this was a useful tutorial for you, and uh, this is an introductory JavaScript course, so I don't think there's going to be much more that we're going to go over, but let's see what's going to happen next time.